Hi guys, my name is Michaela, also known as Elsie on Queen on YouTube. And today is one of the most important anniversaries in history, at least in my opinion. Can you guess which one? That's right, the anniversary of the Titanic is today. Hey, and the setup. And yeah, it's a very special occasion. And Titanic set, set sail on April, April 10th, 1912 for her maiden voyage from Southampton, England to New York City. Of course, as we all know from history, she never made it. Tragically, she never made it. But she was the largest ship in her time. And the James Cameron's blockbuster was actually the largest. Oh, sorry. Jack, James Cameron's movie. Uh, it, the budget for the film actually cost was higher than the actual ship itself, mostly because they had to, you know, do the research uh, and get everything that and they need to get done. Yeah. Uh, I had other plans for this video. Like I was gonna do like I was gonna do uh, Elsa's view, but then I thought. Yeah, no, I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to view Titanic because it's like a four-hour movie, you guys. Three and a half, four-hour movie. Like, yeah, no, I'm not, I'm done, no. Sorry. I'm not going to review a four-hour movie, you guys. Sorry. Sorry about that. So, yeah. She was the largest ship at the time of her maiden voyage. And she hit an iceberg at approximately... 11:40 p.m. on the 14th of April, four days after she set sail, uh, she sank with the lives with the and approximately 15, 1,514 people lost their lives on that ship. That includes some of the most richest people on the ship. Uh, John Jacob Astor was one of them, whose wife managed to uh, get off board by getting through a window. Pretty clever, actually. Uh, the Strausses, who were traveling in third class, died on ship, voluntarily. And quite a few of the other third class passengers, including even children, a lot of children actually, voluntarily. Set, went down with the ship, which I thought, like, that's really sad. It is sad. So, it is sad. It really is sad that she had to sink, like, the way she did. Sink the way she did. So, um, here's the thing. I think, uh, on... April 17th, so, uh, that's two days after, uh, the Titanic, the survivors were rescued. A day before the, they actually reached New York, uh, the Mackay Bennett, which is a ship. It's a ship, you guys. It's a rescue ship. Uh, it was sent from Halifax, Nova Scotia to search for the bodies. You know, for bodies. And, uh, there were embalming supplies on board. 40 embalmers, tons of ice, and 100 coffins. Even though they found 306 bodies, only 116, 116 of them were too badly damaged to take all the way back to shore. Uh, they, they attempted to identify each body found. Additional well, ships were also sent to look for bodies, and all 328 bodies were found, but 19, 119 of these were badly damaged and thus buried at sea. So they, they got, so 19, 119 bodies, guys, got buried at sea. That's pretty crazy. But, 
I, it's also kind of heartbreaking, if you think about it, like, uh, uh, 328 bodies in total were found. That, so 328 fam Fields family members were found. And if you saw the James Cameron movie, the creator, the maker, the person who built Titanic, helped in building Titanic, he escaped off the ship, guys. He abandoned ship. Like, on one of the lifeboats when, at a time when only women and children were being boarded, or being let on board. Only... He was, only women and children were being boarded at the time Bruce, who was actually got on the ship. So, and the fact that he abandoned his own ship to save his own life, that was kind of brute. That was kind of wrong. And, uh, actually, what I've heard, he actually got sued for that, you guys. He got, like, he had to give money to all the survivors' family. Like, the survivor, or sorry, no. The people who died, he had to give the, uh, he had to give money to the people who lost their lives at sea. To the families of the people who lost their lives at sea. So, yeah. This is. So yeah, um, yeah. Bruce Ismay had was sued for abandoning his ship on ship. He should have went down like captain, but he didn't. So he was sued for that, which is kind of a good thing actually. So yeah. Two days after the body, uh, the survivors. Uh, were rescued, and one day before they reached New York, they, uh, sent out ships to recover bodies. Yeah. Kind of nice. Um, another interesting fact. Uh, the RMS Titanic stands, the RMS in, uh, in Titanic stands for Royal Mail Ship, which... Uh, the Titanic, and the Titanic was officially responsible for delivering mail for the British post, post office, right? On board the Titanic was a sea post office with five mail clerks, two, uh, two British and three were American. Uh, these mail, oh mail clerks, they had the responsibility of the 3,423 sacks of mail, oh, that's, and when you think about it, guys, that's, I mean, like, when you take the time to do the math, that's 7 million individual pieces of mail. That's a lot of mail, you guys. That's huge. I mean, like, I, I would not want to be a mail clerk. If I was a, I would not want to be a mail clerk on board a ship. I'm sorry. No, I couldn't do it. I sure wouldn't want to be a mail clerk, period. I, w I wouldn't, I couldn't do it. Uh, Titan on the Titanic interest interestingly, although no mail has yet been recovered from the wreck, uh, the U.S. Postal Service, is, if it was recovered, they would have still tried to deliver it. Isn't that crazy? Why would you try to deliver mail that was under the ocean for god knows how long? Really. Would you guys do that? Deliver mail that's under the ocean for who knows how long? No, I wouldn't. I would like, no. The mail stay in put. I'm sorry, no. I wouldn't want to go in the lake anyway. In the ocean anyway. The Atlantic Ocean's freezing. You guys. It's icy cold. Freezing. Oh yeah, here's another weird fact. Um, with the order, you know how women and children were once to first get in the lifeboats. Uh, there were not enough lifeboats, obviously, for everyone to be saved because there's they were afraid of. Uh, I think there were there's like over at least like twenty or something.
Um, yeah. There was like 20, over 20 or something boats, lifeboats, and only, and some got taken because they were afraid the decks would look too cluttered. Whatever the hell that means. I don't know. Um, anyway, there was nine dogs on the Titanic, you guys, and of the nine dogs, two were rescued. Two. The others, there's seven? Okay. Done. Gone. Died. That, which is kind of sad, actually. I, that would be so sad. Uh, the types of dogs, the dogs that were rescued were a Pomeranian and a Perkinese. Stop licking the bed, buddy! Sorry about that, guys. My dog doesn't listen. You can see him in the background. Yeah. That's crazy, though. A Pomer Two dogs out of nine were rescued. Oh, um... These... You know the four smokestacks on the, uh, ship? Well, um, a lot of people probably think that, like, all of them were operated. Uh, no, they weren't. Uh, out of all four of them, three were operable. The other one was just for show. Be so that, because the designers thought the ship would look more impressive and powerful with four. Or funnels? Or, well, they call them funnels on the thing I'm reading, but. Yeah, I'm, re I'm reading these off the internet. I don't actually know these off my heart, so that's why I'm reading them off the internet. Right, so don't kill me. Uh. Yeah, so they thought it looked more powerful and impressive with four smokestacks as opposed to three. So, only one, one was inoperable. So, yeah, only three of them were connected to the, uh, well, they were at really steam. So, yeah, it's pretty impressive. I don't know what I just clicked. It's pretty crazy, actually. It is really crazy that that happened. That uh, they have four just because they wanted to make it more more powerful. Uh oh yeah. Um, you know how in the movie that uh they said the Carpathia was the only boat close. Mm -hmm. That the Carpathia was the only boat close to the Titanic. Carpathia was the only boat close to the Titanic to get the, uh, uh, signal, the boarding call. Well, well, yeah. They issued no, no, to get the, uh, rescuers. Um, yeah, so I'll just read what's here. Uh, when the Titanic began sending out distress signals, guys, uh, the Californian, the SS Californian, as opposed to the Carpathia, was the closest ship. Yet, the Californian, um, it didn't respond until it was much too late. It was too late to help them. At 12.45, on, a, on the uh, April 15th, so 12.45 in the morning, uh, uh, crew members on the Californian saw mysterious lights in the sky. Those were uh, the distress flares sent out from the Titanic. You know, remember in the movie there was white flares going up in the air, which by the way, which by the way, and the, uh, the flares, they were the wrong color. Yeah, uh, yeah, Titan the Titanic's flares were the wrong color. They're supposed to be red, not white, but whatever. White signals party, red signals danger. That's how it's supposed to go. Um, they woke up their captain, tell him about it, and... Unfortunately, he gave no orders for them, so they didn't help the Titanic. That's why the Carpathia. Uh, yeah. So even though, like, cut, he only gave no orders because the ship's wireless operator had already gone to bed. Like, any logical person probably would have just woken him up. Yeah, any logical person would have just woken up the ship's wireless operator, but whatever. Uh. So, no. So the Californian was actually unaware of any of the signals. 
the stress signals from the Titanic until the morning. So, but by morning, the Carpathia had already picked up all the survivors, so they are too late. Yeah. They are too late to help because they've already been picked up. So, yeah. Californian was, there's no, they, there was no point in help going to help them because they were already been picked up by the point the time they actually received the distress calls. Um, did you know a lot of people actually believe that the Californian had, was the one who responded to the Titanic's to meet their help? Oh. oh, sorry, if the Californian had responded to the Titanic's pleas for help, well, many more of the uh, passengers on the Titanic could have been saved. So, ho like, unfortunately, because of, uh, because of the Californian, uh, this crew on the Californian not, not doing, like, not waking up the ship's wireless operator, which they should have, but it's just my opinion. Um, yeah, they didn't get there in time, and that's why a lot, the, a lot less lives, like, a lot of people died, that's, like, as opposed to, like, how many would have died. A lot less would have died if California was the one to save them. Probably none of them would have died in California to save them. Huh? Oh yeah, um... Okay, this is this is weird. Okay. Um... Although most passengers had to, uh, sh share, like, bathrooms, right? Only the two promenade suites in first class had private bathrooms. Third class... Had it rough had it really bad, with only two bathtubs for more than 700 passengers. Wouldn't this suck? If you were one of, like, 700 passengers having to use a bath, having to take a shower or take a bath, uh, if there were only two bathtubs, like, are you kidding me? Like, so, like, I, <laughs> So, like, no one followed me that to the fire. So, yeah, that would kind of suck. There were like more than 700 passengers. There's having to take a shower or a bath, and there's only two bathtubs in third class. Like, that would suck. Oh yeah, this really actually, this fact that I'm about to read to you guys really made me mad. Um, this made me mad. Okay, so the lifeboats of the Titanic, remember how I mentioned that there were not enough lifeboats to save everyone? Uh, just like like, a, couple, a lot of more people, a lot more people could have been saved if but not for the fact that uh, the crew who put only like 24 people despite having the capacity of uh, 70 people. They only put like Oh yeah, oh, yeah, in the movie, they're like putting like 10, 15 people on a boat, when in re reality, they could carry 70, like, that's actually what happened in history, they, they could carry 70 men, because they're tested in Ireland with the strength of 70 men, so, they would have been able to get a lot of more people off if they actually built it to capacity, but they were afraid of dragging the boat down, so they put only like 10, 15 in it. Like, are you kidding me? One of them, uh, Lifeboat 7, I believe?
Lifeboat 7 was the first one to launch. It only had, carry, had four, 24 when it could have had 70. Like, are you kidding me, guys? But two people went into the uh, Lifeboat 7 later, which would have brought it from 24 up to 26. So, yeah. Like, why would the crew do that? They could save m way more people if they just put anybody who could have gone in, in. Like, they could, they could put 70 people in. Why did they put 70? Like, really? No, they were scared of over tipping it. What the hell? I don't know. It's kind of wrong. In the movie, they saw them tying the boats together, so. Yeah, the movie. Yeah, this, in the movie, there was like, the boats were tied together and they said, we want all these people transferred from this boat to that boat immediately. Like, really? Yeah, because the boat's right, we're going to go back, right? Cause they, they sent some of the, the boats back, right? Yeah. They sent some of the boats back. Uh, did you know Titanic had its own newspaper, guys? It's The Titanic seemed to have everything on board, including its own newspaper. Crazy, right? Uh, it's called the Atlantic Daily Bulletin, and it was printed every day on board Titanic. But the, news, the newspaper actually included uh, news, news about Titanic, Oh no, wait. Not just about Titanic, no. Uh, this includes news, advertisements, stock prices, horse racing results. Because why would there be horse racing on Titanic? Waste of stock. Uh, and the day's menu. Some of that stuff could be from Titanic, but the horse racing results, I seriously doubt it, but. You know. Yeah, Titanic has some newspaper. Crazy. For four days. Um. So, next fun fact. Uh. Titanic. Um, from the time that the lookout sounded the alert. The officers only ha the officers at the uh, bridge or wheelhouse, if you will, only had 37 seconds to uh, act before the Titanic hit the iceberg. Uh, in that time, First Officer Murdoch ordered a hard starboard, which turned the ship port. Oh, okay. Before we go any further, I'm going to clarify: starboard is right, port is left. Just in ship talk. Yeah, starboard's starboard's right, ship port's left. Uh, he so yeah, hard to starboard, and it turned the ship left. He also ordered the engine room to put the engines in reverse. The Titanic did bank left, but it wasn't quite enough. I don't know what bank left means, I really don't, like, it, I guess it means turn left, I don't know. I don't know, I know what left, like, I don't know what it means. It turned left, probably. Um, so, yeah, the Titanic ended up hitting on the starboard side, on, but on the hull. Like, a part, another part of the reason why Titanic sank, too, was prob was not just because of the, um, Iceberg. Like, they, well, it was because of the iceberg, but. Uh. Um, yeah. What was I gonna say? Oh my god, what was I gonna say? I forget it, move on. Um, 
I was going to say something. I don't remember what I was going to say. Oh yeah, um, not only did the Titanic, like, the Titanic guy hit the iceberg, but there was another, the, like, it could have probably survived if it hit head on, if had it hit head on. If it hit head on, kind of like the Lusitania did, it hit uh, several icebergs head on, uh, it would have survived, actually. It would have survived. I like the, um, I was about the, um, uh, iceberg warning. I will survive the iceberg. I said warning. I don't know. We'll survive the iceberg. And, uh, yeah. A lot more lives could have been saved. Uh, yeah. And, yeah. Actually, not just a lot more lives could have been saved. Every life could have been saved. And they would have made it to New York have had they not given the orders to turn. But what do I know, right? Uh, anyway, um, oh yeah, um, there was they were supposed to have a uh, lifeboat girl on the on April fourteenth, nineteen twelve. So today, 101 years ago, um, and for some unknown reason, uh, Smith, the captain, Smith, canceled it, and lots of people believe that had the drill taken place, more lives could have been saved. What would they even do? What would they even do anyway? Was that like... Like, if the drill had taken place, would, like, they send the boats into the water? Is that what they were going to do? I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of live could have been saved though, Yeah, I'm actually going to show you a couple scenes from, uh, from some Titanic-based stuff. Uh, the first one I'm going to show you, actually, uh, it's not even a real movie, it's just a kind of a, kind of a spoof, kind of. Like, it's not real. It's not real, no. Hell no. After what they decide to do, do, like, researchers said do. No, this is not, there's no way this is real. So it's called Raise the Titanic. So what they're based it's what they're basically doing is raise it. Well raising exactly as it says, raising raising the Titanic. It's kinda of crazy actually to watch. But this is how you can tell it's not real. See it rising up?
I don't know what that was. Yeah, okay, that's just a uh, depressing thing. Okay. Now, weird, right? Now, there's a quite a few things. There. I like this movie. Well, I do like this movie. I do have it. There's quite a few things wrong with it, actually. Let's go through a review, shall we? Number one. Hold on. Number one. The Titanic is in one piece. In the in history, it broke into three pieces. So it truly wouldn't have been able to actually do that. When I it wouldn't be coming up in one piece like that. Like, it is there. One of the smokestacks is gone, but alright. That's the only thing that actually appears to be missing right there. Is the, one of the smokestacks. That's the only thing that appears to be missing. But. The scene doesn't seem real. Yeah, the scene doesn't, isn't real. That's number one. The Titanic did not come up in one piece. Could not come in one piece. It couldn't. They wouldn't bring it up at all. Who would try that, actually? No one. But that's who. Um, yeah. The Titanic couldn't come up in one piece. It was, it broke into, yeah, because you didn't know it broke into three pieces, actually, in reality. Like, yeah, you, we all know that it's splitting down the middle. But it, when it hit, hit, you could, you actually saw it in the movie. When it hit, it, the, back, the, uh, bow, the front part, broke, I think it was the bow, was it the bow or the stern, that broke in the third, mom, the bow, okay, yeah, oh wait, this, the back's the stern, isn't it, second, okay. yeah, the back's the stern, um, yeah, but when you, when the stern landed, it, you can see actually part of it, like, split, actually, you saw it split. It was cool. It was kind of cool when it landed. When it saw. But yeah, so it wouldn't come up in one piece. The only thing different about the Titanic when it's raised like that, I guess, is if you look closely, the one of the uh, smokestacks is not there. There, so. There's only three there. When there should be four. So. That's the only thing wrong with that. Alright, but there's supposed to be four smokestacks. Uh, 
Yeah, there's one of the things wrong. Number two. How did they lift the tit how did they raise the Titanic out of the ocean in the first place in this movie? Surely because surely these little tugboats here couldn't do it. How would balloons put, put it you can you can the balloons. That makes no sense. And the, the boat wouldn't come up pristine and clean like that it did. Mm. Yeah. Number three, as my mom just so oh, nicely pointed out. Uh, oh, wait. Okay, going back to number two for a second. Uh, yeah. the tug, Those little tugboats could not do that. They couldn't do it. Surely they couldn't do it. Uh, number three. Uh, there's no coral. Okay. One minute. Go back. Look, it's perfectly clean. If you look, it's perfectly clean. I'll go to the shot of the deck. Hold on. Look at this. Watch. Perfectly clean. Perfectly clean. Look. No, nothing. Perfectly clean. Coral. No coral. Nothing. I mean, yeah, there's a few little seaweed or something on it, but, like, I think. Cheers, over. Yeah, there's seaweed. Case, the occasional looks of seaweed. There's water rushing off of it. But, other than that, it's fine. Like, there's, but the Titanic wouldn't be like that, guys. I'll tell you that right now. The Titanic, it, that's not even possible. That's not possible, you guys. The Titanic can't be done like that. Like, yeah, it's a good movie. I'm not gonna knock it because I I do have it and I do like it. Like, yeah. I'm not gonna knock it. So I'm not gonna knock it. It's a good movie. I do have it. I do like it. Uh, yeah. But there are just quite a few things wrong. With So yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I really hope you guys liked this video. Uh, yeah, I hope you liked it. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. I'm, I apologize if the audio if the um, audio's off or if you can't hear me. Yeah, I bet I have really bad quality, so I apologize for that. Um, please do not bash this video. I do not want bad comments because I. Uh, I have bad enough, like, I have bad enough days uh, at, at school as it is. Like, s with school and stuff, like, I do not have a very good school life, okay? Like, yeah, my, my grades are great, but, other, but, like, um, uh, my, my classes in general, my, like, no, I don't get along with many people, like, nobody really talks to me. Uh, I get made fun of quite a quite a bit. I'm ignored. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of I don't really like that part. But that's not really the highlight. Of, that's really the highlight of my day. I don't like it. It sucks being ignored. So please do not bash this video. Please do not put me down. Um, I I am sorry for the quality. I am sorry for the if the video is off. Uh, I really hope you like the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Just no bad comments, okay? All that, all good comments. Thank you. Okay, bye guys.